people think you're sexy. Those are the girls. This one? I believe these two. Oh, yeah, this one. Which one? Which one? These two. One's a boy. Fred, Fresno State, right here. You were very good. That's a girl. Oh! What? It's fine. It's fine. This one's a boy. I mean, his face is not cute, but he's not cute. <laughs> what? Sound like a college kid. Hey guys, Rico here, Rico's Place. Welcome back to the channel. We're up. Uh, day two of the puppies, and we're, uh, we got a bucket of them, a bucket of puppies, I guess. They, uh, we ended up counting them earlier, and what, how many do we have? Fresno, <laughs> Fresno State, right here. Six, uh, six males, two uh, pretty females. So Stacy came up from Fresno State, because Fresno State's on a lockdown. And uh, what was it like on the lockdown? What was it like? Is it scary, or? There's no one around. So no one around. So same old, same old, same old. Um, she came up to help me do something to the puppies that some of you aren't going to like. Some of you are going to get all kinds of hate comments about how I mean, and uh, especially when uh, a lot of you got all on me when I suggested Dutch take the horns off his goats. You guys thought that was the meanest thing. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to remove the puppy's tails, because Australian Shepherds don't have tails, but they're born with them, so we have to remove them. Why do we remove them, Stacy? They don't need them. They don't need them, I guess. <laughs> uh, back in the day, one of the reasons why they, they removed them was the cattle would step on them and, or bite them or what have you. This got in the way, they, and they don't need them, and they look better without them, I guess. So Stacy's going to, going to dock the tails. Do you need a cutting board to put them on? You're not going to use a cutting board? No. Oh, okay. Do you have a penny? A penny? Or a dime. <laughs> wow. <laughs> how, tell, let me get to your, all your tools and you tell them how you, how you figure out how long to uh, cut them. So the way you know how long to cut them is you just put like a dime right here and then at the end of the dime you'll just snip it off and that's the right length. So I've tried uh, on our other litters, I've tried nickels and the dime. The nickel's too big. And it seems like when I do the dime, that to me seems like it's too big too. So we're going to go a little bit shy of what the diameter or the, uh, that diameter, what's the thing, cross? That diameter? Because yeah. it's perimeter. Mm -hmm. Perimeter's around, diameter's across. Yeah. Math major. No, it's circ perimeter is the circumference cir is around. Or the perimeter. Okay. But diameter is. I'm not a math major. Then what's half of the diameter? Starts with an R. Radius. Radius. Radius in your arm. Is that the radius in your arm? One of the bones? You didn't take that class yet either? No. Holy moly. <laughs> What's our tax dollars paid for our college education? All these all these grants we give out, this is what we get right here. Um, so she's going to go a little bit shorter than the dime, and then we'll get a little close up on it. Now, does it hurt the puppies? Be honest, does it hurt them? Probably. I don't know. I never had my tail cut off. But <laughs> <laughs> they say it. They say it doesn't hurt because they say when they're under three uh, three days old, this is just cartilage and such in here. There's really not a. Uh, oops, sorry. There's not a lot of senses, sensors, pain sensors in there yet. Nerve endings. Uh, nerve endings. There you go. Yep. Biology. You took uh, zoology this year, this year. <laughs> I'm working on. How'd you, it. What grade did you get in that? <laughs> we haven't got there yet. Where are you at? <laughs> right now I have a. Well, actually, I have an A. Right now, I have an A. Well, she's going to thank Corona for that. <laughs> um, I, it probably does hurt them a little bit, but a lot of times when we cut them uh, last year and the year before, they didn't wiggle when we cut them. They wiggled when we were holding them. So you got to shake them a little bit. A little shaking baby syndrome. Okay. Uh, so I, it probably hurts a little bit, but in the, in the long term, I think it's okay. 
All right, so let's just, uh, again, if you don't want to see this, don't look. You know, don't watch, but don't don't leave me how cruel I am and stuff. This one's kind of cute. Is this the girl? Oh, this is the little girl. Oh, the little baby girl. All right, so you're going to use... Probably still has frog guts on it from the frog bait section. practice at all first? Yeah. Like cut cut it in half and then cut it again? Oh, no. Well how are you gonna practice? Well I don't know but that's gonna hurt twice. Oh so it does hurt she says now. <laughs> Alright, there's those. I didn't know if you wanted me to give you the ag teacher answer or the actual answer. Well, I want you to give the real answer because pe people, they, they say when you castrate pigs and do all that, they'll say, does it hurt? And they sure squeal a lot. All right, I'll hold it. You do it. I guess so. I'm scared. Now. What are we gonna dip it in after? Or you're not gonna do Daisy that? spit. One year, one year we we went ahead and we dipped them in in a, a, like a blue. We sprayed blue coat and dipped them in sulfur powder and we about made Daisy sick when she cleaned them up. So this year we're just gonna okay. we're gonna let Daisy. Uh, So again, you're going to pull the tail out straight, you're going to measure it with the dime. Ooh, that last one? Holy moly! Well, well, we measure that you went, you the dime drops and you go down to the end of the tail. Fast. Oh, shut. Put them on the other side of the food dish so when she comes in, she doesn't step on her food. Oh, I know that. On this side? Yeah. Maybe I'll put her food dish hanging on the door, the other door, and then, then she can't spill it. Think that'd be a good idea? Yeah. Hey, hey stop bouncing. All right, let her in. And then Daisy will do a good job cleaning them up and licking them and making sure they're okay. You should find a taxidermy. A taxi, a tax, find a taxidermist and, yeah. and preserve just to make keychains? Preserve them. Give them away to your subscribers. Stacy has the idea. She wants, you, you all know like you can buy the rabbit's foots. She <laughs> wants to get one of those little caps Put it on it, clamp it down, and have a lucky puppy foot. I should be a business major. She should be put away in an asylum, because that's just disgusting. Um, 
Okay, I hope I hope you guys I didn't offend too many people. I get too many people mad at us here, but it's something that uh, the working dogs we dock their tails. Just it's just what it's done. And most people want an Australian Shepherd or a Queensland um, without a tail. Now I don't know why we don't dock the Border Collie's tail. I, I I'm thinking because they're so fast that that tail kind of balances them out. I don't know, but. Maybe if I ever get Border Collies again, we'll dock their tails too, just for giggles. Or not. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was kind of informative. Just know that the, the puppies aren't crying. Uh, they really didn't hurt them that much. And that's it. Okay, Stacy pointed out, and I don't, I'm, I'm gonna assume she's kind of right. If you look in the tail, which I can't believe we're sitting there looking inside cut off tails. But if you look in the tail, it's just, what call, it's like a white. So it's, it's, it's like an empty void, like yeah. like there's nothing there. There's, so that's what she's thinking. It doesn't hurt them as much because there really isn't anything there, even though it feels like it. Um, but that's it. We uh, we docked eight puppies, six girls, two boys. Nope, that's wrong. Six boys, two girls. Um, I guess that's it. Anyhow, any who, any hood, hoot, 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 hoot. Anyhow, this is Rico, the tie dye cowboy. As usual, as Stacy said, I didn't do this. Wishing you and your family well. Saludes, stay healthy, and be safe. <laughs>